What advice would you give to an aspiring producer? Uh, to be, <laughs> to be as honest as you can be without being foolishly honest. Uh, I, when the studio insisted on assigning Otto Preminger because they had a pay or play commitment with him, on assigning Otto Preminger to direct River of No Return, I, uh, he was not the director I wanted. I wanted, I, I regarded River of No Return as a piece of Americana, Western Americana, and that was not Otto Preminger. Uh, I thought Otto Preminger was an excellent director. He did Laura, very good melodrama. He did uh, Moon is Blue, very good comedy. Uh, but he was not the director for me for River of No Return, and yet he was the director who was going to direct it because the studio said so. So Otto Preminger came out from New York. He'd read the script and agreed to do it. I met him when he arrived from New York, sat down to lunch with the commissary, and said to him, Otto, I want you to know up front that you are not the director I wanted on this movie. Now, that was simply not very smart. I didn't have to tell him that. Uh, it was not necessary to tell him that I didn't want him his, as a director. It was not relevant. But it caused a friction between us which lasted almost through the entire picture. So the first thing I would say to a producer, be as honest as you can be, but don't be foolish. Uh, protect the project. Always achieve the script that you've developed or that you've inherited, if that was the case. That comes first, uh, and you have to protect the director so that he's given a chance to make the picture you both envisioned. When they talk about a director's vision today, uh, they assume that that's the only vision connected with the picture. The producer has a vision too, and he's in at the start. In many cases, frequently, the producer is on that project long before the director is on the project. So the producer has a vision, so you're trying to achieve your vision and the director's vision, you have to protect the director from the forces that do converge on him because of budget problems and scheduling problems, etc. cetera. Uh, but you also have to protect the vision you have of that project from the start.